This is your worst podcast host, Andrew Stotts, and I am here to talk about emerging markets. And this is a solo episode. Since it's past the half year mark, uh, I thought it would be a good chance to look at what's happening in emerging versus developed markets from an investor perspective. You can download this chart deck for free by clicking on the get the PDF link at myworstinvestmentever.com or just click the link in the description. There's five topics that we're going to cover. I'm going to introduce emerging markets, introduce our FEMR framework, talk about fundamentals and valuation, and then I'll show you my asset class and region country allocations. The emerging markets I'm looking at in Europe are Czech Republic, Hungary, Poland, Greece, Russia, and Turkey. In Asia, it's China, India, Indonesia, Korea, Malaysia, Philippines, Taiwan, Thailand, and Vietnam. And uh, Latin America, it's Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Mexico, Peru, and in Africa, Middle East, it's Egypt, Morocco, and South Africa. Vietnam, I have an asterisk in this table because it's actually not an emerging market, it's a frontier market. And some of you may be surprised to see that Korea and Taiwan, you may have thought that they were developed markets, but I use MSCI classifications and that's for investors. And because there are some restrictions for investing, MSCI keeps them in the emerging market category. So my FEMR framework starts with management. Management's responsible for producing earnings. The next part of it is price, and that is the responsibility of investors. They're setting the price based upon their trades. So there are four elements to our FEMR framework. First, fundamentals. Looking for solid, a strong profitability, which shows that a company is managed well. And we prefer high or rising profitability. So the second one is V, valuation, which shows how the market perceives the stock. And we prefer good fundamentals at relatively cheap prices. Then there's momentum in both earnings and price and risk in both earnings and price. So now let's get into it and start with fundamentals. And the conclusion that I've made is that emerging markets are about 20% less profitable than developed markets. The EBITDA margin for the world is at about 19% and it's 17.5 for emerging markets. That's about 10% lower in emerging markets. What about net margin? Well, that's 32% lower in emerging markets. In other words, the world is trading at 10 times, or sorry, the world has is earning a 10% net margin and the emerging world is earning a 7% net margin. Why is the world so high? The long-term average I've calculated in my past is about 6%. So already the world is at a super high level of net margin, and that's driven particularly by the U.S. Let's look at return on equity, which is 23% lower in emerging markets. Return on equity in the world is at about 15%, and in emerging markets it's at about 12%. Let's go down and look at a country basis to understand the best and the worst from a country perspective. So the most profitable countries are Indonesia, Australia, Philippines, US, and UK. And the least profitable are China, Korea, Thailand, Japan, Germany. Now I've highlighted some in red because we're gonna see them again when we get down to the next section which is about valuation. That's Australia, US, Korea, and Germany. Remember, you can download this chart deck for free by clicking on the Get the PDF link at MyWorstInvestmentEver.com or just clicking the link in the description below. So let's look at valuation. Emerging markets are about 40% cheaper than developed markets or than overall markets. Emerging markets are at a 50% discount on price to sales. In other words, in the world, uh, the world price to sales ratio is about two times and it's one time for emerging world. That's cheap. Let's look at emerging markets on an EBITDA basis, that's price to EBITDA. They're at a 44% discount. So on a price to EBITDA basis, the world is trading at 10 times, and the emerging world is trading at 5.6. Incredible discount. And what about price to earnings? Well, that's a 26% discount. In other words, emerging world is trading at 14%, whereas the global or the total world is trading at 19% price to earnings. And finally, there's price to book. And price to book, there's a 43% discount. It's incredible, about half. Emerging world is trading on only 1.6 times price to book versus the world at 2.9.
So now let's dig into some countries and see that cheapest countries are Italy, Germany, UK, Korea, and Hong Kong. And most expensive are India, US, Taiwan, Australia, and Singapore. Now let's go back to the ones that I had highlighted before. First, UK. It's cheap and highly profitable. So that is the only country that meets both of those criteria. Let's look at the UK in more detail next time. Germany and Korea are cheap and they have low profitability, meaning they're cheap and they, they deserve it. And Australia and US are expensive, but they have high profitability. In other words, they have earned their high multiple. Finally, I'm going to talk about my asset class and region country allocations. Remember, this is not a recommendation. And my next, next rebalance is in September. And everything that I'm talking about right now could change. Also, keep in mind that today is, what, July 26th or so. So right now, I have a 65% allocation of stocks, 5% to bonds, 5% to commodities, and 25% to gold. You can see my confidence in gold is pretty high. Again, let's continue on and look at regions and countries. Remember, I said that I'm 65% exposed to equity. So where is that exposure? U.S. is only 5% of that 65. Developed Europe right now is at 25%. Japan is at 5 Emerging markets, 0. And Asia Pacific, 3 X, which is uh, Asia Pacific, X, X Japan, X China, and X Hong Kong, is at 25%. And finally, China is at 5%. Again, these are my latest allocations, but they're going to change in about a month or so. So use them as a guide, use them as research, but don't use them as a recommendation. So that wraps up that emerging markets are hurting, but they're cheap. Remember, you can download this chart deck. For free by clicking on get the PDF link at myworstinvestmentever.com or by clicking in the link in the description. This is your worst podcast host Andrew Stott saying, I'll see you on the upside.